Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is on few basic but essential knots used in surgical practice. The basic unit of the surgical uh, knot is the half reef knot. Uh, this is formed by twisting uh, one end of the suture strand, the black end in this case, uh, around the other end of the strand, the white in this uh, case. So by just looping the um, one end over the other, either clockwise, like in this case, or anti-clockwise, it doesn't really matter. But what, what you need to do is form a loop of, uh, of one end of the suture strand around the other. And if uh, once this is formed, this open loop would need to be secured by having another a number of half reef knots, at least another half reef knot. The most basic surgical knot is the reef knot, the square knot, which is formed of two half reef knots on top of each other, but in opposite directions. You could see here that we have a half reef knot on one direction, and then we reversed the direction and another half reef knot here so we end up with two loops a black and a white and the white strands are coming up on the same side of the black loop and the black strands are coming up on the same side of the white loop and when tension is applied on both directions the two loops would interlock and increase security in the knot if we don't cross hands, if we don't reverse direction, we would get a very insecure type of a knot called the granny knot with a white uh, ends coming up on both sides from the black loop and vice versa. And this is fairly insecure. This is how we do the reef knot. We're going to twist the white strand on the black strand in one direction. That's a half reef knot. Now, if we continue to do the second half reef knot in the same direction, we'd end up having a white uh, strands on both directions of the black loop. We discard this. We're now going to cross hands reverse the direction of the looping for the second half reef knot and this way we have the two white strands coming up above the uh, black loop and the two black strands below the white loop now applying tension on the two ends of the strands you have the two loops interlocking and securing the knot so basically it is the failure to reverse the direction while tying that produces the granny knot, the faulty knot. Um, if you continue to tie in the same direction as I'll demonstrate in a second, then you end up having uh, the ends, the white ends coming on different sides of the uh, black loop and vice versa. And this is not secure, this is not a secure uh, knot. I hope this is going to demonstrate it better. I've twisted uh, the white strand in the clockwise way. Now, if I continue to uh, do the same, just do it in a clockwise again direction and pull the black end, so I've not reversed direction, this, will, uh, so this knot is going to be a granny knot because I've done it either the, the two half reefs in the same direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And as you can see, one uh, white strand is above and one is below the black loop, so that's not good. Uh, the way to do, get a square knot is to reverse the hand. So if you are going to uh, work clockwise to form the first half uh, reef, then you do an anti-clockwise to form the second half reef. So that's a clockwise one. and we got the um, the first half reef knot and now rather than doing it in the same direction we'll reverse it and this time it's going to be a secure uh, square knot 
and you, you can tell now that the two white ends are coming below the uh, black loop and vice versa so you have two open loops uh, both of them can interlock the black loop and the white loop can interlock and provide some security for the knot now if extra security is is required uh, because you are using a monofilament synthetic material you can have any number of twisting of the uh, of the strands the two ends of the strands and um, to form uh, any number of any number required of half reef knots and in this case we are going to uh, twist the pink over the violet twice uh, so that the first half reef, reef knot is formed of two uh, throws rather than just one and then we're going to reverse direction and get the two pink strands above the violet loop and vice versa and now we can have a third half reef knot uh, again by reversing the direction and still we have the two violet ends coming below the pink loop and, and you can have four five or any number required from uh, to secure your knot so in the square knot the uh, two ends of the uh, suture wrap around each other uh, once to form the first half reef and, and another time to form the second half reef in the surgical uh, knot in the surgeon's knot you have a double uh, wrapping on the first half reef and then uh, you just have a single wrapping afterwards and this is to demonstrate it on using an instrument we, we've wrapped the uh, weiss twice over the black strand and now you reverse direction rather than working above you work below and you form the second half reef not with the white ends coming up on the same side of the black loop and the black ends coming out above the white loop so it's a secure knot uh, with the first half reef double wrapped and the second half reef just a single wrapping that's a surgeon's knot and this half hitch knot is formed of two basic elements the, the first is to keep one end of the suture strand the black end in this example uh, straight by applying constant tension on it and the other is to wrap the other end the white end here uh, around the black to form two half reef uh, units in opposite direction so if you wrap it in the clockwise direction in the first half reef you do it in the anti-clockwise direction in the second half reef unit and essentially you've now formed a square knot but this uh, by applying constant tension on one side you can slide the formed knot along this uh, straight uh, uh, strand into any desired position before finally securing the position of your knot and this is to demonstrate how the sliding knot is being formed the two essential things is to keep one end of the strand the black end here straight and then to wrap the white end on the black end twice in two opposite directions so if you form the first half reef unit in one direction to form the other in the other direction and, and here we are we've got the uh, sliding knot in position with an open white loop and the two ends of the white strand coming out on the same side of the white loop and this knot can slide along the uh, straight black end up and down into the desired position uh, where, wherever you want to place it finally then you can snug it down and just after this you apply one more throw to secure it in position so the aberdeen knot was proposed as an elaborate way of providing a secure knot formed up of several loops uh, interlocking loops of a single thread uh, so it's fairly balanced these um, uh, so these consecutive loops they are formed up of a single strand at a time and they are interlocked in such a way as to provide enough uh, security and this is how the Aberdeen knot is formed 
Uh, I'm using thick wire, that's why it's a little bit fiddly. But basically what's happening is that you form a loop out of the single strand through which you pull on the strand to form another loop and then go through that new loop to get another pinch on another bit of the strand to form a new loop and go on like this forming a loop after, the, after another maybe four or five times and finally you pass the needle the final end of the thread and the needle through the final loop and pull on that and here you are you've got the Aberdeen knot which is uh, safe and secure so you just go through that loop pinch a little bit of the suture another loop is formed and you pull so that you start forming the knot then go on pulling once more you got a new loop and you add a little bit more to the knot continue pinching a little bit of the strand between two fingers and pulling through to add to the knot and once you are happy with the security of your knot you pull the needle through the final loop the last loop that you have formed and pull on the thread and here you are you've got a secure uh, knot tied uh, in the depth of the tissues and the subcutaneous uh, area by this we come to the end on this short presentation on some basic surgical knots salamu alaikum